Ran and Rave gets hot this week with Georgia looking for another win and the SEC East imploding. Here's Fox Sports 1670's Bill Shanks and 41 NBC's Dustin Wilson. Rant and Ray from here at Five Star Mazda, where I'm sitting in front of the car that Channel 41 is going to get me for my bonus for doing the football show for this year. All right, here we go. Rant and Ray for this week. We start with the SEC. What is wrong with the SEC East? Well, it's just not very good. Georgia's not very good. They're mediocre. Florida can't score. And when's the last time you've heard of a Florida team that couldn't score? South Carolina, they're okay, but not great. There's just not a dominant team this year. Yeah, I agree, Bill. I think it all it relies on coaching. Uh, new defensive coordinator, coordinator at UGA. Uh, since Dan Mullen left Florida, their offensive production has went down. And Tennessee, three coaches in three years, no recruiting, no continuity with that team. Issue two, will Georgia beat Kentucky this week? I actually think this is the best matchup for the Bulldogs in some time. They beat Tennessee and Vanderbilt, who were both awful, and that's good that they got the wins. But this is going to be a different test because Kentucky can score. They've got a good quarterback in Mike Hartline. Randall Cobb's very good. But if Derek Locke can't play for Kentucky, Georgia might have the edge, even though it's up there in Lexington. I like the dogs in this one. The, the offense is continuing to get better, especially since the emergence of A.J. Green. Aaron Murray's playing well, and I think the defense is finally getting the grasp of the 3-4. Well, we'll see if they will this week against a much tougher offense with Kentucky. All right, the big game in the SEC is issue three, LSU or Auburn. It's the number one rushing offense against the number one rushing defense. Auburn's Cam Newton is tough. I think that will be the difference, and I don't think LSU can stop him. I think LSU's defense is good, but I'm not buying into all the hype quite yet. The, the offenses that they've controlled, that, that they've held in check, has been Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, and even Florida's offensive production is down. They haven't faced an offense like Auburn yet. Final topic, Falcons. Can they bounce back this weekend after the loss in Philadelphia? They play Cincinnati at the Georgia Dome. I say yes. Don't panic over the Falcons. They just had a bad week, and that's okay. They're going to have a bad week from time to time, but they should win on Sunday against Cincinnati. Yeah, I like the Falcons as well. It's going to rely on the defensive front of the Falcons. If they can get pressure on Carson Palmer, they will hold the Bengals in check. We'll see you Friday night at 11.15 for the end zone on 41 NBC.